redoing my dining room table. And I'm ready for stain. But before you actually do stain, you want to make sure after you've uh, sanded, or stripped and sanded, uh, that you go through and you clean uh, the entire surface. Now this is actually the underside of the table, and you can see that I have deconstructed um, some different things, which is important to get a good clean surface. You can also use my favorite <laughs> canned air to clean out some of these little holes, which and crannies and stuff. But I think I've got most everything. Now you do want to go over some of this with uh, mineral spirits after you um, uh, after you sand, uh, and if you have any repairs that you need to do that too. And again, this is just little crummy towel uh, cloth. Uh, from the first thing that you'll want to do. Uh, before you do uh, any staining is you want to use a, and now my, this is a uh, pre-stain wood conditioner. And you want to just get a brush, just got to, oh, there's my beeper. I'll tell you about that beep here in just a minute. You want to go over this, uh, just kind of put a, a nice little layer of this on here. Now it doesn't have to be anything special. And again, I'm trying not to go over the edge to affect the finish on the actual tabletop that I did earlier. But you just kind of want to go over this and get it in there so the wood can drink it up and get ready for stain. And the important thing about this is it helps prevent uh, blotchiness, uh, and it kind of helps hide some of the natural imperfections on the wood. Now, other wood imperfections are things like scrapes, cuts, or crayon marks, which every parent knows about and probably has in their own dining room table. But I just want to kind of go over this. Now, it says that you want to put this on here, just kind of <coughs> get into the wood, excuse me, doesn't have to be anything special again, this is just the pre-stain. So. Now I am using uh, oil-based stain and polyurethane on this table. But some people don't like uh, the yellowing that occurs with that sometimes, and you can get water-based. However, I still do recommend putting on a pre-stain, whether you're doing oil or water-based stain. So, and we'll let this sit for a little while. And I have the leaf here that you can see that I already put the pre-stain in it. And I let it set for the recommended 5 to 15 minutes. I go with an even 10, just for uniformity on everything. And I've already just uh, wiped it over again with a cloth. I wiped it over, and I'm going to do it again once more. Again, more for uniformity, and just to make sure that it's all nice and soaked in there. And you'll see that I've got a little bit of stuff there. And now, I'm going to get my stain. Now, uh, I'm pretty thrifty when it comes to some things, but for stain, you definitely want to get a good uh, stain brush, one that's meant for uh, you know, varnishes and stains and stuff. And you want to go over this, and you want to be really uniform, or try to anyways. Now this is the underside of the table, so if I'm not too uniform, don't anybody yell at me over the internet. Because this is the underside of the table, and as you can see, there's a lot of holes and stuff for things. And most of this will be covered. But it's a good piece to go over and to show you just kind of what you do. Now again, this is kind of like uh, 
you know, painting your furniture. Um, but you definitely want to be a little bit more careful about this. Now, you will see some interesting things here. You will see some uh, bubbles uh, and things like that. And that is completely normal. That's just the wood releasing air and taking in stain. Or, as I so comically like to think of it, as a wood fart. that I have one minute until I need to start rubbing and wiping off some of the stain that I put on the other half of the table, which is right over there. So, this next little bit may be a little hasty, but again, don't yell at me. This is the underside of the table. And there it is. And again, as I said earlier, I try to respect about the 10 minute rule on stain. They recommend anywhere between, oh, again, the 5 to 15 minute mark um, on uh, pre stain and stain. So you want to rub out any of the extras. Now, you do not want to leave stain on overnight because it will not be pretty by any means. So as you can see, it's already starting to kind of bubble up and soak in there. Okay, this next bit, throw on my gloves because as you can see there, just through rubbing, I have already taken a bunch of stain to the hand. So, and again, I've got all my lovely little just cheap old cloths, and I've been using this for a while. And again, like everything with wood projects, with the grain. Now, as you take this off, you can kind of go back over and kind of wipe in uh, where you've already wiped off. And this, as you can see, there was a black mark that I wasn't able to get out um, earlier. So I'm just kind of uh, gently wiping it off. Now, for this table, <clears throat> I went with a, uh, what is that, an English chestnut uh, stain. Oops. With the grain, Kelly, with the grain. I'm losing my own. Not following my own rules here. Well, not my rules, but kind of. Just trying to rip off. And I've got a little bleed over here on the edge from when I did the top. But that's okay, because this is the end of the side of the table, and not many people other than my four year old are ever going to see the underside of my table. <laughs> Pretty soon, my little 10 minute timer is going to go off on that. I'm going to have to get a new rag. We're going to do that. So, but that, in a nutshell, is most everything you want to know uh, about uh, staining your furniture or if you're trying to put new life into um, other wood items in your home, like doors or baseboards. So, And maybe next time I'll get around to showing you guys what it's like to paint furniture. 